Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Please don't mind that plane in the background if you guys can hear that. I got four solar panels to hook up to my Goal Zero solar generator and the external battery that I purchased for it. I'm going to go ahead and open one up so you guys can see how good the packaging is. I've already opened one up and I was pretty surprised at how good the packaging is. Even though you see a couple of little dents here and here, surprisingly, even though this was delivered via UPS from Amazon, it came in very good condition. Now these are the Nupoa off-grid solar panels and they were a great price. That's why I decided to get them. In addition, they had very good reviews. So like I said, I got four of these. I'll probably end up connecting one or two of these today to my Goal Zero Yeti just to see how it works because I do believe that I have to get some more wiring in order to connect all four together. But I do have enough wiring to connect two. So let's go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, everything is packaged very nice. It's got good foam on both sides, I do believe, and on the corners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't throw away this foam. This can come in handy. As soon as you throw it away, from my experience, you'll find a reason why you should have kept it so that you can use it. And that there is what it looks like. And it actually looks like it's pretty decent quality. Yes, these are made in China. I just noticed that on the package. However, it's got really good ratings and the price was very good. And as you can see, it comes with your two connectors back here so that you can connect them to other solar panels or if you just want to use one by itself that's fine as well you can see that i got my second one on the table so what i'm going to try to do ladies and gentlemen is i'm going to try to attach two of these together more than likely i'm going to drill holes through these areas right here and zip tie them together and then i'm going to take some u-bolts and put them somewhere on top i'm not sure if i'm going to put them over here and here or maybe one here or where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to take some U-bolts, connect them on top so that I can connect these to my deck and be able to rotate them up and down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, what I did is I went ahead and put a flex tie, I think is what you call these things, in through these two holes that had already been pre-drilled here on top and over there, as you can see, in the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the holes that I'm going to drill to put my U-bolts. So I'm going to put my U-bolts in on this side and on this side over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about two weeks since the last clip of this video was played where I was showing you that I was putting these U-bolts on. The reason is, is because I had to go get a couple of parts. And after I got those parts, it rained for like a week, a week and a half, almost straight. So let me show you what I did before, uh, before now. All I needed to do was go ahead and get these. These are called MC4 connectors. And this is how you hook up your solar panels together, how you hook them up in parallel. As you can see, two of them are the negatives hooking into one side. And then the other side are the two positives. Now, I'm going to show you how those hook up into the Goal Zero Yeti. And I'm going to show you where it's at. Well, here is my Goal Zero Yeti, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the expansion battery is down below it and I've got the actual solar generator on top now this right here is the power indicator for the expansion battery and as you can see I've got my eight millimeter wire from the solar panel hooked up to this module okay 
And as you can see, the expansion battery is only at 25%. The first three bars are off and the last bar is full, which tells me that it's at or below 25%. And the Yeti is at 98%. One thing that I've noticed about the expansion module is that it usually doesn't start to charge the Yeti until the Yeti gets down to 95% or less before it starts to draw into the Yeti. So I'm not sure if that's a safety mechanism or not, but it's been working pretty well so far. I've been using it for little things, as you can see. I've droned it down to 25%. All I've been doing with this for the last few days is just powering my extra batteries for my drill off of it. So I've drawn it down and we're going to see today how long it takes for it to draw back up. Well, that's where I'm going to set up my solar panels for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm leaving them there until after my backyard gets leveled off. And then I'm going to see about maybe putting them on a post, putting all four together on a post out or on a pole, I guess you can say, whichever way you want to say it, out in my backyard so that it can get a better look at the sun when the sun comes out. Now, as you can see, that's where I have them. I only have two of them. So we're going to see how well these two do throughout the day. It's about five o'clock in the morning right now, 515 or so in the morning. And as you can see, the sun hasn't even really breached the tree line over here. The sun is the sun usually has to be around here for my solar panels to be getting any sunlight. And right now it's all the way over there. So it may take another hour or two before, probably more like three, usually around eight o'clock, 8.30 is when the sun is right here. So I'll let you guys know at the end of the day how full that got it. I think it's gonna fill it up completely by probably like two or three o'clock in the afternoon. It'll be completely full. Now keep in mind that that external battery is 1250 watt hours. So if it's at 25%, it means that it needs about 900 watt hours, roughly maybe a little more than 900 watt hours in order for it to be to capacity. So if these two solar panels can give me 900 watt hours by about two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I think that'd be pretty darn good. But I'm gonna bring you guys back and I'm gonna tell you what time it is and when it's full and all, all of that stuff. You're just gonna have to trust me on the time but I will give you a good time as to how long it took for it to get full. So we'll see you then. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. So I wanted to show you where the sun started at. Right here is where the sun was exposed the most to my solar panels. And if you remember, when I told you it was around 5, 5.15, the sun was all, all the way over there. Right? So at about 9 o'clock, the sun was right there and it was giving my solar panels a lot of sunlight. And as you can see, it's already moved across the sky and it's right there. And let me show you my solar panels. And there are my solar panels. And so you can see they're getting a lot of sunlight. It is just shy of two o'clock. It's about 1.45 PM right now. So that means that these solar panels have been getting sun uh, with the exception of the occasional cloud passing through and blocking them for a little bit, but that's not that big of a deal. From about 9 o'clock in the morning, roughly, to 1.45, which is the time right now. So, 4 hours and 45 minutes. Let's say 5 hours. And let me show you what we've got on our battery. As you can see, the battery is still charging. And you can see that there is input. That means there's wattage going in there. And the external battery is between 75 and 100%. I would say that it's upward of 75%, which means that at the very minimum, we went from 25% to let's say 75%. So that's 50% of the battery's capacity, which is 625 watts. Those panels that I have are 100 watt panels each so there's 200 watts of panels there of solar panels there it's been about five hours and let's say we've only gone up 50 percent which is 625 watts that means that we've gone about 600 watts or so in five hours time which is really not bad 
I don't think it is. I mean, ideally, we would be getting about 160 watts because I do believe that these panels are only about 80 or 85% efficient. So ideally, we would be getting about 160 watt hours per hour, but we've averaged about 120, 130 watt hours per hour. So I think it's pretty good. And I have no doubt that before the sun starts to hide on the other side of my house, that this will be filled up. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad little panels. They're actually pretty good. Uh, I actually am getting a set of solar panels from a company that is sending them to me so that I can review them. So I am very excited to see how those work with this unit. But as I've said in the past, I think that this unit as a whole is the perfect little plug and play unit if you're not very handy with solar systems you know and setting things up like that so this is something that I really highly recommend if you're looking for something like this and if you're in the market for something like this because it's very easy to use you can extend the capacity indefinitely you can put as many of these external batteries as you can afford and or want to put onto this I'm planning on doing that on adding at least another three or four of them uh, so I'm going to end up budgeting in maybe one every other month or so so that I can build up to having a six battery system along with the system itself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for you guys today as far as this goes. I hope you guys get something out of it. And I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the solar panels. I have absolutely no doubt that if I had all four connected, this would have already been full. So what I'm doing now in order to use up this energy that I'm getting from the sun is I'm using this a yeti right now to power anything that i need out here on the deck like my vacuum every once in a while i'll vacuum the deck off and uh, whenever i'm out here with my computer i power this with my computer and whenever i need to recharge my batteries to my tools like my drills and stuff like that i'll go ahead and power them using this unit so that i don't just let this i want to say free energy which is really not because you have to pay for the system and eventually, depending on how long you have it, it'll pay for itself. But this obviously has not paid for itself yet as far as how much energy I've gotten out of it and how much money I put into it. But it is a very nice thing to have for backup when you lose electricity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, thank you very much. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July yesterday. And I hope that you were all safe and had a good time with your family and your friends. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I am out.